Yes, people, how we doing, how we doing? So today we are taking a break from the usual stuff. I'm gonna try something new because I thought it might be entertaining. I hope it is anyway. Let me know. Like my shit. Before we get into it, I wanna do a shout out to Squarespace and say thanks for sponsoring this video. I'll talk more about that in a bit, but for now, let's do stuff. Let's go get tied up in knots, mate. We're at a playground for adults, man. This is our sensei for the day. Is that what you called? <laughs> coach, <laughs> professor, <laughs> whatever you want. Ninja for the day. This is Lee. Coach. Do you want to tell us just like how you got into BJJ, what you do now currently with BJJ? I started traditional jujitsu when I was like 13, getting bullied at school. Started doing that, loved it, but that gym closed. So then, what I'm going to do, enjoy it. So then, the Wolf's Learn Witness opened, which at the time, like UFC was getting big. There was a lot of like UFC fighters there. Rampage Jackson, Michael Bisping, my Osakata was there, and that's when the BJJ started at the Wolf's Lair. So I went there, did that for a while, and then took a bit of a break. And me and Elder Bro went to the boys' club, Runcorn Boys' Club, for a bit. So I boxed for a couple of years and stopped doing it. But then my coach, Kojak, or Scott Pickering, opened up a club in Warrington. And then one of my friends went down, said, Listen, Lee, I've just been absolutely twisted up. You need to go to this club. I've just been ruined. It, it, it was boss. You need to come down. And obviously, me and Dad at the time were lifting weights. We were both quite big. He was like, This little fella's just twisted me up. I couldn't do nothing. So I said, Sam, let's go down. <laughs> went down. Same thing happened to me. Got twisted up, got absolutely dealt with, got chucked around the room. Loved it. And yeah, then yeah. I, I, never, I never stopped. Been training now with, with Scott Kojak for about. 10 years, something like that. We train around the corner. This facility is where I teach the kids' academy. And then the other club is Kojak's gym around the corner where we train the adults, that's where I train. So I'm the head coach here for the kids' academy and I train under Kojak at the other club. And I coach, I compete myself still. I'm fighting in two weeks in Liverpool on Grapple Fest, um, which is like a submission grappling show. So I'm getting fit for that, getting ready for that. And Check just, it out just, if you want to go see Lee. Yeah, it's going to be good. And uh, yeah, just, just, just staying fit, just coaching, traveling, competing. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. Part of the reason why I wanted to do it because like, <clears throat> I just feel like I'll be complete shit at it. And like, that's just a good reason to do anything really, isn't it? So let's fucking do it. We're going to do a bit of a warm up, do some movement drills, do some specific movement drills, get warm, and then we'll get into some uh, technique. Sweet. After the technique, we'll do some rounds. Let's do it. Okay. Go. I pull up, so. Change direction. <laughs> Same old shit. Let's say I walk in here and I'm like super inflexible. Yeah, yeah. Is that bad? Like, <laughs> well, uh, is that gonna fuck me over? That, I think that's probably a little bit of a factor, but yeah. a lot of the movements we do, a lot of the movement drills will sort of it's similar to say like yoga. You know, you have like very, uh, some deep stretches. A lot of the techniques that put you in positions where like you are constantly sort of stretching yeah. or inverting. So a lot of the drills we do, I try to encourage like nice move, like patterns of movement, especially for the younger ones. Yeah. So when they're drilling, they can connect and combine all the movements together to start being like more relaxed, more like fluid, yeah. fluid to, to move around the body, to move around the techniques. So. Yeah. I don't know. Ah, I winded myself, man. I'm doing the slide different to come back down here. So all you're gonna do is gonna go here and you're gonna go over your shoulder. Just like this. There. Okay, so when you get a bit more used to it, you can start diving into it. Okay? <laughs> your hand underneath. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's definitely more of a roll. Like, I'll try yeah. your left side here. Just nice and easy now, back roll, okay? Because obviously some positions when you're getting stacked and stuff. When you're getting you, what? Like stacked over. What does that mean? Like when you get <laughs> Okay, yeah. The baby. Okay, if you're not very flexible, you know you don't know where to place your, say, your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't like. So that's why I teach like a lot of the, the we, we do these movement drills in the kids' classes, just so they know how to like safely move. That's you're rolling and you're tucking your head in. So you, your neck isn't taking any of the pressure, so if you look again, sit down. Ah, oh, okay, 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 yeah. So you're looking to the left. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, wave in motion. <laughs> almost, almost, yeah. almost. So it's always hands and feet are working together. Left to right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Simple stuff is difficult. One, two. Opposite leg. Sit through. Ah, uh, see two. you doing that. Sit through. One, two. Sit through. <laughs> I'm gonna base with my fist and I'm gonna monkey pivot around. This shoulder needs to stay close to there. Okay. So, what I mean? so this is like good for scrambling. Good yeah, for yeah. As well. So what I mean? you swim over. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> nice. nice. These are more just like drills to help encourage movements. Yeah, yeah. It's just to create explosive power. So if I pass the guard here and I'm trying to secure a better position, side control and north-south, you'll always turn into me to try and get the underhook or to scramble out, okay? Right. So if you're turning in, it's, good, it's, it's a good opportunity for me to jump to the other side. I'm gonna use that meat hook on the leg to clamp it tight. I want my shoulder on your belly. So I want all that pressure down. Okay, so I'm hooking tight, head on, forehead on the mat, base, only for a split second though. I'm gonna go to my toes. I'm gonna jump over. Oh, we did that in Bali. <laughs> Play your legs, do the work. Five, that was a good one. All right, there okay, yeah, I'm, so I'm just Feel putting me pressure on my stomach there. Six, nice. Okay, yeah. So that clamp's nice and tight. Seven. Get a good drink. Yeah. You nice and warm? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good, man. So do you want to do a take down, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, okay, so. Do take down, what's the take down? We'll do a double layer. Okay, okay. sweet. These mats are Hopefully not. We need to go like staggered stance, okay? Because we're not obviously boxing or doing MMA, we're doing BJJ, yeah. we're wrestling too. So I want like more of a staggered stance and shoulders forward. So here I want to be on the back foot, okay? So my shoulders are forward, hands are up. Yeah. So when we're here, I want a level change. Oh, so I'm going okay. to the, like, the penetration shot, okay? Penetration <laughs> shot, mate. Okay, so I want that knee towards my chest. So when I'm here, I'm down, not too low. So for me now, what I'm going to do is my knee is going to go over my toe, so it's like, Knee over toe, and I'm gonna glide this knee down. Wow, and then yeah, we step yeah, there. Looks, yeah, and all the power comes back back way. Yeah, just shoot through, and then the knee goes down, so I'm gliding down, and that's when we catch the legs, step, and take the shot. I want the knee to land underneath the hips, in, head tucked in. I like to snake around the legs, right? And I want to use my head like a bulldozer, use my arms to bring the legs on the diagonal here, across. And I want to use me, me head, like I said, as a bulldozer. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling and pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I'm using a lot of, getting a lot of power generated from this uh, right leg, okay? But obviously not from here. I need to turn, and then that's where the power's coming in from yeah, yeah. driving the head as a bulldozer. Yeah. Scooping, here. Don't be looking at the floor. Obviously head down, yeah, yeah. if you're down and looking down, it's easy for me. Start snatching the head and in. I want to tuck the head in. Obviously, if that's poking out, you're going to guillotine me. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So I was pinch thinking about in. that. I'm about to do nice that. Nice and tight. You can grab, but I just personally like to, yeah, to come yeah. round, okay? So now this is where I'm going to step, okay? I'm going to use that bent leg to straighten it up. I'm going to scoot, uh, pull my, my arms to my right. I'm going to use my head like a bulldozer to the left. And again, go coming from the right leg, so it's here. Try and go together, so obviously we're here. Level change, shooting in. So snake those legs, okay? Tucked in tight. Now you're gonna pull your arms this way, you're gonna drive your forehead out, you cut in the corner and drive with that leg. Not bad. <laughs> Did that hurt me more than you? <laughs> <laughs> and then to cut the corner and drive with that right leg. Okay, it's better. So level change, shoot. Not bad. This position is 
kitchen now is closed guard. My so door in my closed guard. It's good for me, obviously, because I can attack is this, it. This is good for you, this yeah. Good for me. This I would have thought this was good for me. <laughs> so this is good. This is, in my opinion, this is this is good for me. So when you're in this position, you don't want to just let me get the grips that I want, yeah, whatever yeah. grips they are. Yeah. You always want to have your own grips too. For this technique that we're going to do, what I want to do is I want to base your hand to the mat, okay? Just want to use my knees. I want to scoop your arms. Okay, so I get a grip yeah, of that, yeah, that bottom. Yeah. But when I grab it, I want my arm to be straight, yeah, not yeah. bent, okay? okay. Controlling, I'm gonna come underneath, and I'm gonna use my knees here. Like I said, if you base out wide, I can still grab, but I just wanna slide down the arm and grab. Yeah. A lot of the time, you're not gonna stay here. You're gonna posture up. So as you posture up, I've got the grip that I wanted, okay? Now for me now, I wanna slightly hip escape. So what I do is I'm gonna open my guard. Instead of doing this, there's loads of space, you're probably gonna pass my guard. When I do open my guard, I keep a nice solid grip with a straight arm. I'm gonna open, but I'm gonna keep my knees pinched in. I'm gonna base with my left leg, and I'm gonna do a slight hip escape. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up. I'm not sitting up this way. I'm sitting across to my elbow. I'm sitting across, nice and high, okay? Yeah. Or well, my armpit pretty much at the top of your shoulder here. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden I feel in danger. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is with my right <laughs> arm, my left arm, I'm gonna chop underneath, okay? I'm gonna grab my own wrist. I chop this arm underneath. Remove my thumb, and again, I'm not using my thumbs now, so I've got a hold of your wrist, and I've got a hold of my wrist. So I want this nice figure of four, I want to pinch this elbow in, nice and tight here, so there's a clamp. So I like to get your wrist past your elbow line, so it's a nice tight femora, completely bent. I don't want it here like this, okay, because this makes you a lot stronger. Right. So when I'm up here, for me, I'm going to use my right arm to keep it nice and clamped, and you can feel the clamp there. This yeah, is yeah. relaxed, this is like lazy. This is tight. Yeah. Lay back, and as I lay back, I'm gonna use my left leg to hip escape, okay, to my right. So as I hip escape, out, okay, I'm gonna clamp that left knee in. My right leg comes over, okay? So without that leg coming over, you're just gonna hop over and, and escape. So this comes over, nice and closed. Okay, what I don't wanna do here, which is like quite a common state, people let the arm leave the chest and the arm's floating dead high. So you can feel now how, <laughs> make sure if it's on by the way you tap, okay? Is that normal for that to hurt already? You're already doing it's probably it? probably because it's not properly on just yet now. <laughs> <laughs> it feels properly on, man. I was like, fuck, is he gonna... <laughs> make sure you tap by the way. Uh, okay, yeah. When yeah. something's on, all right? Yeah, yeah. Should have mentioned that at the beginning. Now you can't tap, stay tap. When you're in this position, I, I want that Kimura grip tight. Okay, I don't want it floating in the air because you gain so much more flexibility in the joints. So elbows pinched in. Okay, and what I want to do is I don't want to flare it right over. I want to bring it more up, not right over, okay? So here, nice and tight. Yeah. And again, just move nice and slow towards, I want to get the, the back of your hand towards the back of your neck, okay, here. I'm only going a few inches. I want to ideally get all the way up. Nice and slow. Yeah, tap. <laughs> okay. Tap. <laughs> so is there any way out of that? There are defenses to most things, but try not to, to Allow the setup to be set up if you don't yeah, really yeah, like yeah. Prevention's better than cure. Like, yeah, yeah, try and always sort of be a step ahead almost. But yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, against high level guys, there's, you've got no choice. You're going to get caught, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in competitions where. It doesn't feel like you could get out of it, man. I've been in competitions where I've known, I think this guy's setting up this or this could setting up whatever. Yeah. I need to start escaping, I need to start moving. They still caught me with it. Yeah. You know, it's mad. But yeah. That's the, it's the, the fun of Jiu Jitsu. All so right. try? Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna grab with your right hand. And once we grab that, we wouldn't wait. Because as soon as I feel that, I'm gonna go, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whoa, 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 whoa. So, <laughs> hang on, lads. I'm not having all that. <laughs> nah, lad. You're gonna hip escape ever so slightly. Yeah, only a little bit. So come a little bit on your side, okay? So you're gonna go over my shoulder, okay? Now you're gonna chop that and remove your thumb on your right hand. <laughs> There's the Kamara grip now. So what you wanna, nice and tight, because yeah. I, wanna, I wanna be trying to straighten this out. Too. Okay, okay, yeah. So you wanna keep that nice and tight. I want you to hip escape your right bum cheek. So I want you to be facing the opposite way now. So you're gonna sit down. That way. You're gonna hip escape, yeah? Yeah. Get a little, so you wanna be on your side, and you wanna be more on that right bum cheek. So hip escape a little bit more with that. Okay, now you're gonna wear the lower half of my arm towards the back of my head to finish. Yeah. Okay, like once you get there, once you get that deep, there's no, there's very little. <laughs> RIP. That is snapped arm, goodbye. <coughs> so we've, we've ended up in the mounted position. 
After a <laughs> grueling battle, <laughs> Lee has took mount. So, so for me, uh, I like to, for me, I personally want to secure the position. I like to cross my legs, uh, cradle the head. And I've got this base here. Just while I secure the position, so I'm driving my hips down. Loads of pressure, just sucking the wind out of them, okay? I want to obviously advance, don't want to be stalling in this position. I'm going to come up to here. Obviously, you're not going to have your arms out because they're easy targets and more than likely going to be on the inside, okay? So, in a minute, what I like to, to do is as I move, come underneath with my left hand and I hold the, the opposite shoulder. What I want to do now is I'm going to go up slightly with my left knee. What I want to do now is with my right hand, I want to grab not so as high as your wrist, but more forearm to stuff that chicken wing towards your chest. So what I do is a step with that right leg. So it's a, almost like a lock leg, but my foot's flat. I want to use this now to lift. I want to get that right leg all the way under in one nice motion. If your head's down, there's no space. So I want to slightly lift and go underneath. Okay. If the arm gets caught a little bit like this, it's not the end of the world, but if it's shallow like this, I will like to take that out. Now, obviously, we've got options here now. We can either A, take the arm, finish the arm bar there, or B, what I prefer to do is a base with my left arm. I'll grab the shin, and all I'm doing is removing the base, pivoting on the hip, getting that angle nice and tight, closing, and then finishing. <laughs> Okay, I'm pulling down, I'm using that lever, <laughs> and the hips are coming up. <laughs> Just using the Kimura again. When they defend, especially in Nogi, obviously in the Gi, what they do is they grab the belt a lot of the time. But in Nogi, sometimes they go to, to that S grip, okay? okay? So when I'm in half guard, I like to personally put the, the left knee, the, just the tip of the knee, against that hip bone there. Some people like to play a much higher shin shield. I like to just play it just on the tip of the knee. You can feel that block yeah, now if you yeah, try yeah. and put some pressure on yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, my. It's here. I'm, I'm going nowhere. Well, some people like to use that shin shield. I just prefer this. I mean, legs are locked off, closed, okay? Okay. So. I'm framing up. Okay, so I've got the top frame to stop, to give me some space here, to give me some protection. And again, I'm using the, that C grip there on the fold of the arm. So obviously, I see that arm available. I'm going to slide down, straight arm, same as what we did before. Okay, this time, again, I'm going to take that knee off. I'm going to sit up. I'm gonna chop this in, remove the thumbs, come more grip. Now this time what you do is you defend. So here I'm not able to finish the Kimura, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open my guard. I'm gonna base with the left leg, hip escape. I'm gonna put that shovel hook in. So it's the foot first, not the knee. So the foot goes in first. I'm gonna take the right leg off. What I do now is I wanna scoot my hips underneath. I wanna roll onto my back, use the Kimura grip to punch through and the left leg, which is the shovel hook. So for me now, I'm gonna shoot my hips under, roll, all the way over. Keep the Kimura grip, scissor, up, up. Clamp nice and tight. Again, we've got options here, we've got the Kimura. But I like to go frog jump arm bar, so it's here. Clamp nice and tight, and then finish there. I'll keep your gripping nice, if you're gripping tight there, okay, not a problem, I can start using my right leg. Up. Ah. <laughs> Fuck. Sick. Right. <laughs> cool. Let's do some rounds. Huh? So if you want to get dominant positions, side control, mount, back taste. Okay? And try and obviously you know Kamora. You know yeah. that You want to triangle? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
What was that? Carp slicer. <laughs> Shit, got me. They kill you. All right, so we did. We've done one five minute round of Lee going very easy on me. <laughs> I feel like you were just deciding like what you're gonna do <laughs> next, and just doing it. Man. <laughs> How many times did you submit? Actually, I don't know, a lot, man. <laughs> um, sick though. It's actually proper enjoyable. Yeah, Even when you're just getting fucking hammered everywhere, like probably more enjoyable than that actually. Like probably will. Do you want to like carry on? Actually, like do actually learn some, not just for a fucking video. Like. Hi, welcome to town, guys. Right. We're out for the video. I'm gonna keep rolling for a little bit longer. Big shout out to Lee for uh, showing us the ropes. I'll link all Lee's stuff. I'll either put it on the screen now or <coughs> link it all in the description. So. And come and have and put you in an arm bar. <laughs> Before we go, I just want to say a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you didn't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building a website, blog, or online store that is easy to use with no prior web design experience. If you watched my meal prep video last week, you'll know that I'm currently using Squarespace to rebuild my own online personal training website. And some of the features that I think are pretty sick include being able to have one of my YouTube videos play as the banner of my homepage, literally just by pasting the link into the relevant box. If you don't have a stock of videos and pictures to use, then they have a free database that you can call on to help personalize their website templates. You can also link up your Instagram or other socials so that your IG feed appears as a block on one of your pages, so there's always some up-to-date photos there. There are templates geared towards fitness, photography, food, or online stores, so whatever you want to do, Squarespace basically got you covered. So head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to get started, you can get 10% off your first website or domain at squarespace.com forward slash Joe Delaney. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> 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 Jordan Lenny is my hero!